Hey y'all, welcome back to Sasser House. My name is Chris, and in today's video, we are going to be transforming this light fixture. So we were just given this light fixture, and it is gray, which is one of Emily's least favorite colors, and it doesn't go with our room at all. So we're going to try to transform this, and we didn't want to just spray paint it. So we're going to go for this kind of faux wood look that matches our uh, bedroom a lot better. And so the supplies that you're going to need is just a paint color of your choice in like a white or a cream color. You need this decorative glaze. Uh, this is in Java Brown by Rust-Oleum. And then a polycrylic, which is just your clear coat at the very end. You're also going to need just a regular paintbrush and then one of these small little brooms. And I'll show you what that's for later in the video. If I had painter's tape, we would be using that to tape off some of these you know, wires and some of the spots around the actual bulbs um, and these candlesticks, which we don't want to get paint on. But I'm gonna have to come up with something else, probably going to just wrap paper around that and tape it with clear tape. Um, but we're gonna get that taped off. I just got this cleaned up and we're gonna go ahead and get started with the first step. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is take our base coat or our paint and just paint a solid coat on the entire light fixture. Um, trying our best to get the paint only in the places where we want paint. So I'm gonna take the regular paintbrush and I'm actually going to lay this over on its side so I can paint the underneath of it first. So after I completed the entire light fixture, I realized that I could have just removed the light bulbs and those candlestick pieces and the candle holders at the bottom. And that would have made this project a lot easier because those things were just dangling around the entire time while I was trying to paint. So make sure that you take apart your light fixture as much as you possibly can and so you don't have to deal with all of these different pieces um, and you don't have to worry about getting paint on places that you're not supposed to. So I went ahead and did two coats on this with my base coat, which ended up just being a creamy white color. And I made sure that I got it in all of the cracks as good as I can before I started to apply the glaze on the next part of the process. All right, it is time to use the decorative glaze. Basically, I'm just going to brush it on with the regular brush and I'm gonna work in small sections at a time. I'm going to brush it on with the regular brush and then I will go and try to get that wood grain looking pattern with the thick bristles on our little broom. So that's what we'll do next. This glazing process is absolutely the most time consuming part of the entire project but it is actually really, really fun to do, and there's no rhyme or reason in the way that you do things. If you just follow those steps where you brush a little bit on at a time and work in small sections, and then you take that broom and you just sweep back and forth, you basically just keep adding or taking away um, or spreading out the glaze until you get the look that you're going for. This is pretty much just a eyeball it and go for whatever style or look that you want. Some people prefer it to be darker with glaze and some people prefer to leave it a little bit lighter. So absolutely just preference, but it does take time. So just have fun with it. All right, so we decided not to clear coat this. We let it dry for a couple of days and it is really, the glaze is dry to the touch and it's not going to get very much touch since it's going to hang on the ceiling. And so we're not going to clear coat this. I totally think it's not necessary. I have felt it and it's not wet at all. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just hang it up. So this is what we had hanging on the ceiling before. It was just one of these ceiling fans, which can be nice, but we decided to go with this more unique light fixture. My biggest tip when changing out a light fixture is to have a helper that can hold the light fixture up, the weight of it, while you deal with all of the wires. That helps out so much and this is super easy if you just have a little bit of help. 
All right, so we just got the new light fixture hung so much better than that old ceiling fan. And I think it completely changed the way that this room looked and the light fixture itself. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you guys on the next one.